This week in the Missouri Senate, we review more priority legislation for this session. Senate Bill 45 and 90. Several hours were spent Tuesday afternoon and evening on two measures. Senate Bills 45 and 90 would modify provisions relating to Missouri Health Net services for pregnant and postpartum women. Senator Elaine Gannon of DeSoto is the sponsor. Extending coverage to these women is so important because some of the conditions do not always present themselves in the first 60 days postpartum. Senator Tracy McCreary of St. Louis County sponsors Senate Bill 90. They want to see us working on things in a nonpartisan way. They want us to get together and put our differences from other bills aside and work on just good common sense public policy. Senate Bills 45 and 90 received first round Missouri Senate approval on Tuesday evening. Another yes vote would send this proposal to the Missouri House of Representatives for similar consideration. Senate Bill 8 was Senate Committee substitute be brought before Senator Bill Igel of Weldon Springs sponsors Senate Bill 8, which would modify provisions relating to personal property taxes. Increase in valuation for vehicles they previously owned, which led to a rather dramatic increase in personal property tax bills around the state of Missouri. During discussion, Senator Doug Beck of St. Louis mentioned this legislation is different from what was offered last year. I want to restate what I said in committee. I appreciate you coming to a vastly different bill than the one you proposed early <laughs> on. Missouri senators also gave Senate Bill 8 preliminary approval on Tuesday evening. Another positive vote would send this bill to the Missouri House of Representatives for its consideration. House Committee substitute for House Bill 14B brought... Missouri senators send the supplemental budget to the executive branch. Missouri Senate Appropriations Committee Chair Senator Lincoln Huff of Springfield handles House Bill 14 in the upper chamber. Notably in that, it's an 8.7% increase. The House did remove all elected officials, both the General Assembly and our statewide officials. Missouri's current fiscal year runs through June 30th. Mr. President, I move that Senate Bill number 82. Much of Monday afternoon and evening were spent on Senate Bill 82. Senator Mary Elizabeth Coleman of Arnold is the sponsor. She says her proposal seeks to modify provisions relating to public assistance. If you were to fill out an application for every single benefit that a person could qualify for, it would be 63 pages. During discussion on the floor of the Missouri Senate, Senator Lauren Arthur of Kansas City mentioned this idea is not new. I had the opportunity to hear this legislation in committee. I'm familiar with the idea and the concept. It's one that we've worked on over the years. Missouri senators gave Senate Bill 82 first round approval on Monday evening. Thursday afternoon, Missouri senators sent this measure to the Missouri House of Representatives for similar consideration. Senate Bill number 34 be taken up for... <laughs> Senator Carla May of St. Louis sponsors Senate Bill 34. She says this measure would authorize school districts to offer elective social studies courses on the Hebrew Scriptures and the New Testament. To focus on the historical, political, and cultural impact and the literary style from the text of the Old New Testament era, including Hebrew scriptures. Senate Bill 34 received preliminary Missouri Senate approval on Wednesday afternoon. Another positive vote would send this proposal to the Missouri House of Representatives. Things are moving well. This was an issue last session. Missouri Senate Majority Floor Leader Cindy O'Laughlin of Shalbina says so far this has been a productive legislative session. Even though we don't all agree on everything all the time, and I'm very encouraged by all the members of the Senate working with each other. Missouri Senate Minority Floor Leader John Rizzo of Independence adds there is still a long list of bills coming, including those that relate to student athletics. We've been having different conversations for the last year and a half, two years, on trying to do the least amount of damage to people that just want to be left alone to live their lives. President, with no further business coming before the body, I may... Session will resume on Monday. 4 p.m. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.